Okay, so I was scrolling through YouTube the other day and I stumbled across this video. Over the past two months, I asked every football club in Europe for autographs and this is what they sent. And I thought to myself, there is a football shirt version begging to be made. So here we are. Also, check out the person with the original football shirt autograph idea linked in the description. It's a great video, but we're here today for football shirts. Can I pull it off? If I pull off getting some free football shirts from clubs, that is ridiculous. Right, so today is now officially day one of me trying to do this. My initial pre-match thoughts are that it's going to be much harder to get a free shirt than it was autographs. Autographs are actually quite simple to get from clubs. There's always people who work at clubs. There's contact forms you can fill out. And usually if you send them a prepaid stamp or letter, they will send an autograph out to you. Whereas shirts, there's something of physical value and it's not really that easy to get a club to send one your way. To be honest, I'm going to be shocked if I manage to even get one shirt. I think it's going to be ridiculously hard to do. But here is my plan of action. So, my aim is to contact every team in England. I'm then going to branch out to Germany, Spain, Italy, Portugal, France and then other parts of Europe too. Hopefully this works. If not, I've just wasted my time, your time, and most importantly, the club's time. So my thinking is that I can't go direct to clubs. They'll just ignore me, and rightfully so as well. This applies to you too watching this. Don't think that you can just reach out to clubs and ask for free shirts. I'm going to contact people that I know in this space, contacts that I've reached out to through clubs over the years, and I'm gonna use them contacts to try and get free shirts. Do not send an email to a club's generic club email trying to get free shirts. You'll just be clonging up the email of someone trying to do their job. You won't be sent a free shirt and it will just cause stress for someone needlessly. So I know it's not WWE, but don't, don't try this at home, all right? Don't, don't do it. So as I said, my plan is to contact people, whether it's through a friend giving me a contact to someone at a club, or whether it's just me contacting people I've got contacts with directly. I'm gonna try and contact these people who work at the clubs. But first, I think I need to structure a message to actually send to them. So, I've gone for two messages, both similar, but also kind of slightly different. Message one is for people I contact on social media, and it is as follows. I really appreciate the response and allowing me to get into contact. Essentially, I run the YouTube channel Away Days, and the channel has recently become heavily focused on football shirts. And I'm now working on a video in which I'm trying to reach out to clubs directly in a bid to get them to send a shirt or something similar my way. The item can literally be anything, a bib from training, a sock, a shirt or anything that's in the club shop, etc. I would also cover the cost of any postage or shipping that was required too. Fully appreciate this is a weird request and there's no pressure on any club to send anything at all. And I also appreciate there may not be too much in it for the clubs. However, I believe the video will easily clear a minimum of 50,000 views. When was the last time one of my videos cleared 50,000 views? Within two years, it might. And any club that features will have their social media channels pushed in the video. Thanks again for allowing me to contact you. Looking forward to hearing your response. Many thanks, Ellis. Message two is for anyone that I managed to get an email contact for, and that is as follows. As you can see on screen, it's essentially the same message, but it's tailored a bit more in terms of email spiel. Like, you know, I hope you're well, you know, away days over 100,000 subscribers where I can hyperlink in my YouTube channel as well. So it's not too different, but it's different enough to show that the tone has shifted and hopefully that's how we get stuff. Right, let's get to work and see how this goes. Let's go. Okay, so some of my fears are actually becoming true. I'm finding that a lot of clubs I reach out to are saying, yeah, we'll send you something. It's cool that you've got a YouTube channel that's this big, but can we have the whole video dedicated to us? Which, you know, is understandable for sending something to me that has monetary value, but you don't get a whole video dedicated on my channel for a 70 pound shirt. I'm sure there's gonna be some. Surely some clubs will send something my way. Surely, I hope, please. I'll provide more updates next week. If you're seeing this video, I did get sent something at least because I wouldn't upload it without anything. But you know, I'm not I'm not too hopeful at this point. One week later. Right, so we've actually had a week of progress. It's looking like worst case, we'll have four things to open. Best case, seven things to open. 
I am very excited. These clubs could have sent me literally anything. So it is really exciting to see what we're going to get. And I'll see you in a week's time when hopefully they've all arrived. I'm excited. Another week later. Ta-da! I could just sit here and waffle for ages about how cool it is that clubs have sent me things. But the way this is going to work is we'll get into opening it now. We'll start with the smallest ranked team, like in terms of their world ranking and the league system and the structure they're in. And then we'll work our way up to the highest ranked team or maybe even a national team as well. Who knows? Item number one. The first item I've been sent is from Berry FC and it is their first ever, ever away shirt made from fully recycled plastic bottles. What I have right here, guys, is a piece of history. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, nasty little sneeze there. This is a piece of history. It is Berry AFC's first ever away shirt. The Phoenix Club, obviously, of Berry FC, who were victims of awful, awful ownership, awful mistreatment. It's amazing that they've sent me out the first ever away shirt they have. And I've also agreed with the club, we will auction this on a charity site and all the profits will be sent out to raise funds for charity. So it's great that they've sent me this and also be sure to check out on my social media channels in future. We will auction this off and we're gonna raise money for some really great charities too. What a start. Oh, buzzing. I'd have been happy with just this, but look at it. What a beautiful shirt. A huge thanks to Berry AFC for sending me their first ever away shirt. I'm sure within 10 to 15 years, we'll be talking about them back in the Football League. Be sure to follow their socials in the description. Next up, we're into the Football League with... Da -da 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 -da. I mean, I, I was going to put it on, but it's, it's Grimsby Town have sent me an item of clothing. It's an extra small, but... Let's have a look at what it is. Yes, so they've sent me this season's home shirt in an extra small. That is a really cool send. You guys can see it on screen right now. Everyone who's watched this channel for a while, like I'm talking like five or so years, will know that I've always had a soft spot for Grimsby. I think their fan base is just fantastic. It's a shame that it's looking like they're going to dip into the National League again because Grimsby fans will be well aware. It can take a while to get out of it and I think their fan base deserves better. I think they've been woefully mismanaged this season. But in terms of my opinion on all that, I'm sure the club don't really want me talking about that. But all I say is a massive thank you to the club for sending me over a shirt. Be sure to follow their social media in the description. When fans are back in stadiums, Grimsby are some of the best in England. That's not even a joke. Grimsby fans are exceptional. So if you're near Grimsby or you need to get to a game with some atmosphere, you can never really go wrong with Grimsby. They are a great fan base. Next up, the, the bag split, but huge thanks to Crawley Town because it appears they've sent me not one, but two shirts. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Are these match worn? What? Look, it's the Crawley shirt, right? There's league badges on the side of each arm. On the back, we've got Ferguson. And on the front, there's very, very visible, like, dirt. Surely not. Like, that is amazing. Let me, let me check the next one. This one's the same. It's the home shirt this time. But this time we've got pain on the back. Once again, with the League 2 badges. That is so cool. Let me just message Crawley and see whether they are actually match worn. Because if they are, then that is mental. Right. Drum roll, please. In 3, 2, 1. If they are match worn, on screen we're going to have a... Yes! Thank you, Crawley. If they're not match worn, we'll have Thank you, Crawley. Ellis is an idiot. Three, two, one. As you can see on screen right now, both shirts will be being overlaid. I'm going to talk about them right now as if they are match worn because I'm pretty sure they are. So a massive thanks to Crawley for sending me not one, but two match worn football shirts. So, I think one is Nathan Ferguson and the other is Josh Payne. I might be wrong. I'm going to message Crawley's admin, as I've said, and try and get to the bottom of this. But that is so cool. You guys will know that match-worn shirts are so, so hard to obtain. So, I'm incredibly grateful for Crawley for sending me not one, but two of them. Be sure to check out Crawley's social media in the description, linked with every other club's social channels as well. It's... that. I've gone above and beyond there. Like, 
insane. Next up is a shirt in League One. I feel like for this one, I'm just going to put it on and then you guys will see what it was and who it was from. Massive thanks to Shrewsbury Town for sending me out their current home shirt. They also sent me out, you know, some lovely, some lovely stickers too. I'm obviously going to stick these to my face because of course I am. Let's go Shrewsbury! Ah ha! Didn't realise I had facial hair to even rip off. Jesus. Puberty. As you guys will be able to see in a bit more detail on screen right now, this shirt is a really nice design. The way the yellow and the blue play off each other is genuinely really nice. And I also think Admiral are one of the more underrated shirt manufacturers. And I think Shrewsbury have got a really nice kit here. Next up, we have a really interesting item. We have the club that are top of the Bundesliga 2. VFL Botcham. This is so cool. This is... What a cool one. I'll show you guys this shirt first. I feel like it's now that point of the video where we're getting a bit further into it. So I'll show you guys this shirt. They do get some, they have some really great ones for Pride. Um, Botcham do, they have some amazing ones celebrating um, LGBT Pride. So it'll be amazing to get one of them. But also I've checked out their kits. They're all really nice. Nice. It is the home shirt for this season. You guys will be able to see it on me right now. It's a really nice shirt. It's amazing that... The potential Bundesliga 2 champions have sent me out a shirt like this. I genuinely think it's really cool. I love the shirt. I think it's subtle. It's sleek. Nike, in my opinion, are just leading the way in kit manufacturing at the moment. And it shows in shirts like this that every level of football they're covering is amazing. You guys will see it on screen right now. And the thing that I'm loving about this video right now is we're giving exposure to clubs like Berry AFC. are featuring in the same, in the same video their kits being showed off with VFL Botcham, and it's also going to be showed off with our next team, which is Inter Milan. Inter Milan! Inter Milan! We've got no's from so many teams, but we've got yes from Inter Milan. And I have no idea what I've been sent. Inter Milan have sent me out this big parcel, so theoretically there could be a few things in there. If it could be their away shirt from last season, or their fourth shirt from this season. That would be nice, because they're both great. The fourth kit's really cool. I love it. Um, it's a great way to end off the Pirelli, C the Pirelli sponsorship, I think. Some people are gonna hate me for that. Also, their away shirt, the lime green one from last season, is also amazing, but I doubt they've sent me that. It's more likely they'd have sent me the fourth. They've actually sent me stuff in like a goodie bag, which is, I can take that to Sainsbury's. Sure, that's what they were wanting when they agreed to do this. <laughs> One item I can feel is a scarf. So let's just start with a scarf. It is a lovely Inter Milan scarf. Very subtle, very nice. How do you put on a scarf? Jody? Jode? Can you come show me how to put on a scarf, please? Thanks, Mum. Next up from Inter, we have what appears to be a t-shirt. It is... Yeah, just a, a Inter Milan t-shirt in size small. I'm celebrating the launch of their new logo. Uh, but it is a cool design. It is a size small. Um, it doesn't actually fit me too badly. It's a nice, nice t-shirt. I really like, like I said, I think their collection they've released around the fourth kit. And the new logo announcement has been pretty nice. Um, I'll tell you what though, I will give this item away. It's a size small and those of you who know, I don't like wearing things that are overly tight on me. So have a chance of winning this lovely Inter Milan t-shirt. All you have to do to have a chance of winning is like this video, subscribe to the channel and tick the bell notification button next to the subscribe button and you have a chance of winning this lovely t-shirt. They've also sent me out another t-shirt, which is pretty nice. It's just a new logo. Um, with that, and there's also the um, spell out saying on the back, I'm into Milano, which is really, it's really nice. It's also another nice t-shirt. It's not too bad at all. Huge thank you to Inter Milan for sending me these things out. Be sure to check out their social medias in the description below, along with every other club's social media descriptions too. It's time to move on to one final item. I've been sent out by, you know, a certain national team. Right, so as you can see from the fact that I've finally managed to get a mop chop, a few weeks have passed. To be honest, I'm still waiting on the shirt to come from the national team. Understand that it's a very busy place to work, working for a country's national team. And also, the stadium in which the country play their games at has been used for quite a few events over the last few weeks. So, 
understandable that the item has yet to arrive. So, what I'll do is, I'll share the item on my social media pages, whether it be Twitter or Instagram, once the item arrives. I'm sure it'll only be about seven days from now, so be sure to follow both them social media channels in the description. Huge thanks to every single club that sent me something, from Bury to Botcham to Inter, Shrewsbury, Grimsbury, Crawley, like, insane that these clubs have managed to send me. Someone's text me, it's Jodie, she we live in the same house. She's in that room. Anyway, you guys get the point. It's amazing that these clubs managed to send me something. Every single one of them are heroes. Also follow me on social media for any of the shirts that I'm going to auction for charity. I have an agreement in place with Berry that will auction that shirt off specifically to raise funds for charity. So follow me on social media once again because we'll be tweeting out more information about that in the coming days. Finally, a huge thanks to David MC for the inspiration behind this video. His video was obviously about autographs, but to be completely transparent, if I hadn't have seen his video, I wouldn't have had the idea to make this video. His video's done really well. It's got like over half a million views. So I'm not sure me giving him a shout out is going to mean too much to him, but huge thanks to him for the idea. Uh, I think he's smashing it with his channel. So be sure to check him out in the description as well. It really annoys me. Say I have a video idea and people, people basically just steal it and they don't even give you a shout in the video. It's all right to put someone's uh, link in. I could have linked it in the description and said inspired by, but everyone who's a creator knows doesn't really do anything. So massive thanks to um, David for the inspiration. Be sure to check him out in the description. And yeah, I've been Ellis. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more football shirt content twice a week, every single week. And I see you on Saturday for more football shirt content. Ciao, ciao. Bye.